bottom line is that after independence, now holding political office in this country mm. largely was no longer based on competence. It has now it is it, now descended to uh, you know populism, elections. And everywhere at the end of the day, you see that our public administration system has deteriorated. And mm. then at the same time, you also find that the quality of the educational system that we inherited, that's trained people on ethics, values, honesty, integrity, you are not finding it's it. It's not the same. Interesting thoughts there, Dr. Apia. I, I want to bring in Kofi Bentil on this one. He's senior vice president of Imani Africa. You have been following these conversations like this um, for decades, if I can say, if I can call it that, or at least for years, Mr. Bentil. Uh, what are the solutions? Uh, good morning. Um, the solution is to basically change our mindset about what our public administration system must be. Um, today, without going into detail, what I'll say is that what we are running is a system where we put people who we want to call employed in a situation, and then we hope that they'll perform a certain set of services. Many of us are aware they don't perform those services. But we are happy to keep them there and to pay them. So it's some sort of a you know um, camouflage welfare system. When I say we should rethink what it must be, we should start looking at it as a unit that must deliver a certain set of things, goods and services. And those goods and services are crucial for the movement of the whole country. I mean, individuals, companies, and everything. What I mean is that if our public services do not deliver those sets of goods and services, this country is not moving. And if we are moving, we are not going to move fast enough. Mm. If we have the mindset that these are the things that have to be delivered, then honestly, we will be prepared to even use another system to deliver it if the public uh, service system won't deliver it. Take passport, for instance. We have one passport office. It was supposed to do something specific. It wasn't doing it for over a year. Now, we let others do it in other places. And I think all of a sudden we are seeing some sort of progress in that area. People have to go to the military to process paper, maybe go to DVLA or so. Now, one unit was not doing it, then to devolve it, we have other people do it. All of a sudden, that service is being produced better. This thinking should come into the rest of our public service. Okay. Which is to say, if, for instance, the controller and accountant general, which has to audit the government, and the government payroll is not more than 600,000 people, 